Here today at the start of the Hyatt Ridge Trail. Gonna hike up here in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park and see if we can't find some wild Southern Appalachian brook trout. So brook trout have been native here since the last ice age. Uh, a lot have been transplanted over time, but there's up in these high areas, there's still some native fish that call this area home and we're gonna try to find them. Alright, I'm up here on the ridge, Hyatt Ridge. If you're hiking in the Smokies, you can pretty much expect a thunderstorm every now and again, so I'm gonna do my best to get off this ridge as fast as I can, get down to the campsite. All right, well, I have reached home for the next few days here on the upper Raven Fork. Uh, I've hiked in a few miles. We got some thunderstorms going, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck in here. I'm gonna rig a tent, I'm gonna rig a tarp, be comfortable. Um, gonna hope that the water doesn't come up too much. If it comes up, gets too high, it's not gonna be fishable, but we'll give it a shot, we'll spend the night. Um, See how things shape up, but I got a good pools here, good pools here. Uh, I'm gonna once I get shelter set up, see if I can't get off some fish right away. Here we are on the Raven Fork. I snuck out after I got the tent pitched and headed upstream trying to get on water before too much rain came down. I've already caught a dozen fish, mostly brookies, a couple rainbows mixed in. Super tight, uh, but gorgeous in here. And just untouched pools. This is the ticket. Wild trout in North Carolina, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Back at camp, it's getting dark. Time to fire up the stove. And that's our wind boiler here.
Well, that's it. Two days of fishing here. Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Caught a lot of wild southern Appalachian brook trout. Caught a few rainbows even in there, wild rainbows in the mix. Caught thunderstorms, but really cool gorge system here. Incredible scenery. Really kind of watch your stuff where you're going, but this wild trout call this home and it's a good home. So I'm gonna pack up, hit the trail, so I'll be home for dinner. Well, I'm back home now at my cabin in Tennessee, drying out my gear after a great weekend of backpacking into the Smokies for wild brook trout. You know, these trout are small, but they're beautiful. They love dry flies, and it's really hard not, not to recommend doing a trip like this on your own. So while I dry my gear out, which is really important to do before you pack it up, take a minute to talk about the gear that I like to use on a trip like this and why. So for my tent system, you saw, this is the Mountain Safety Researcher MSR Nook. This is a nice, compact, lightweight, around three pounds. It's a two-man tent. I like it as a really roomy one-man tent. I also bring along their tarp system for added dry, dry area to hang out underneath if you might be stuck out in extended rain periods like you might find in the Smokies. So for my sleeping system, I use their Tech Down Blanket. This is an awesome kind of hybrid sleeping system. It's very much like your down comforter might be at home, and you pair this with their Thermarest sleeping pad, and you can either mate it up and cinch it really tight for when it's colder, or you can open it up and unfold it for warmer nights. You know, late summer in the Smokies might be very cool at night, can be very hot during the day. I'm a very active sleeper, so I very much enjoy a system like this. It's very much like sleeping on your bed at home. It's also great, this is the exact same system that I use in the Winnebago Travado and the RV. So I use it on the bed in there, or I hit get to the trail head, I can pack it up, throw it in my pack, and head out into the woods. So for my backpack in this case, I was using the XO 3500 pack. This is a Made in USA pack company out of Idaho. Very versatile pack system. I, I really like the side tube storage for my fly rods. For rain gear on this trip, you know, it's, it's the Smokies. You might be caught in a thunderstorm as I did hiking in and throughout the day. This is a, a very lightweight Gore-Tex system. This is the Sims Acklins jacket. This is very, very packable, but also very comfortable. You might be spending all day fishing in it. For my cooking system, back to MSR, I use their wind boiler system. This is a nice, again, very compact. It's got a, a bowl system on the bottom, your main burner unit, but everything stores inside. So the burner, fuel, everything mates nicely in one system. Now for my fishing gear itself, you know, my rod of choice on this trip was the Orvis Superfine Trout Bomb. This is a seven foot four weight. I like a, nice, I like a four weight on trips like this, so if I do get some of those bigger holes, but there might be some bigger fish down deep. I like throwing some bigger streamers. So you can use a two or three weight, but I, I like a really flexible, small, compact four weight, like the super fine. Pairing that to the reel, I just use an Orvis CFO, made in USA once again. Great little classic, classic fly reel. Awesome for small stream fishing. For my boot systems in this case, I wore the Sims Vapor Boot. This is kind of a really nice hybrid hiking boot slash wading boot. So I can pair this with a neoprene sock and nice mer thick merino sock underneath and wear this, hike it in, and then not have to change for a different wading boot on the river. So one boot on the trail and in the river. Really versatile footwear system. For my fly kit, you know, I just bring a small, the Sims Headwaters chest pack. This is everything that you need can be stored in here, my forceps, my float, and my flies in the, in the front chest chamber. And then in the back, I can store additional gear, cameras, added fly boxes. But I just keep all this nice and together, keep it in my pack, and then when I get to the water, strap it on and go. Last but not least, everything you've seen here on the stream was filmed on my GoPro kit. So this is kind of a compact kit that I carry, with various cameras, different mounts inside. So when I'm out there, I can always find a clever way to rig a camera and get a cool shot, whether it's underwater, above the water, doesn't matter. I always have various GoPro systems with me for filming all of this. So 
that's kind of it in a nutshell. Great Smoky Mountains, wild brook trout, kind of a combination you can't beat. You know, these fish have been transplanted a lot of places out west. High mountain lakes, different high mountain streams there. They're beautiful. They love dry flies. Highly recommend getting out, getting the pack on, and finding some for yourself.